Hey everybody, Doug here, and welcome back to our continuing series of videos for the Kita FX conventional line of panels. In this video, we will show you how to connect a booster power supply to your FX5 or FX10 conventional panel when your installation requires additional NAC circuits using Genesis horn stripes. The FX5 control panel NAC circuits will provide up to two amps each with a maximum of 3.5 amps total. The FX10 panel can provide two amps for each NAC circuit with a maximum of seven amps total. For larger installations where multiple NAC circuits are necessary or the number of NAC circuits will exceed the amperage draw of the FX5 or FX10 panel, the use of a BPS6A or BPS10A will be necessary. This figure shows the specifications for both versions of booster panel. The BPS can be configured a few different ways. In this video, we will show you how to configure and wire the BPS panels when the control panel NAC circuits are set as continuous or Genesis NAC type. First, we've configured our control panel NAC circuits as continuous. Looking at this figure, you will connect the booster panel to the control panel by running a wire from the FX5 or FX10 panel NAC circuit to the Sense1 input on the booster panel. Next, configure your switches on the booster panel as shown here. To configure all four NAC circuits on the booster, you will place switches 1, 6, 1, 8, 2, 2, 2, 4, and 2, 5 in the on position. This will configure the booster panel NAC circuits as continuous and will generate the sync pulse for the Genesis horn strobes. This configuration will provide strobe synchronization without the need to use an external sync module. I can demo that configuration for you now. You'll notice that when we tripped the alarm at the control panel, we did have both strobes in sync. Our next configuration will be based on configuring the control panel NAC circuits as the Genesis NAC type. When using the Genesis NAC type on the control panel, all of the switches on the booster panel should be placed in the off position. This is because the control panel will generate the sync pulse for your horn strobe circuits. I'll demo that for you guys now. You'll see we were able to have horn silence and we're able to continue flashing our strobes because of the Genesis NAC type configuration and all of the switches on the booster are in the off position. Also want to point out that a trouble condition on the booster panel will create an open on the Sense1 input circuit of the booster panel which will result in a trouble at your control panel for your panel NAC circuit. I've created an open on the NAC2 circuit on the booster and as you can see I actually have a NAC circuit trouble back at the control panel therefore we are achieving supervision of the booster panel with the control panel through that sense circuit connection. For additional configurations of the booster Please reference the BPS installation manual that came with your BPS 6A or BPS 10A. That wraps up our video. If you'd like some more information, please visit our website, kita 